This week on Special One TV, the Champions League quarterfinal draw, live. Nearly half the teams in the draw are Jose teams, which means there's more than a 50% chance I'll end up playing with myself. And in a fashion special, we look at what's hot this season on the catwalks of this year's biggest clubs. Plus, Wayne will have a special report where he is out and about gauging reaction to my new signing after his stunning debut last week. Yeah, huge reaction to Mr. Wenger's first outing. Uh, Jerry and Bark goes, forget Pelé in 58, forget the boy Rooney's <laughs> pile driver for Everton against Arsenal. This lad Wenger looks the part to the mama born, the business last week. Very good, Wayne. One from at Ben Zero. Going to have to take this Arsenal stereo back to the shop. Lots of volume, but no treble. <laughs> Why the hell can't people use proper names? At Ben Zero, I wouldn't turn down the volume fully just yet. <laughs> and of course, well done, Man U, Tottenham and Chelsea. Champions League draw only minutes away. Stay tuned. Yeah, things are getting well tasty now. Big reaction on the Twitter there to this lad, David Luiz in Chelsea. Andrew goes, David Luiz, what an impact this lad has made. Uh, he's going to be wanted by a lot of clubs. Absolutely, Mr. Wenger. Well, I agree, not only wanted by clubs, but also, I think, a little bit by the authorities for the attempted murder of Bart Simpson. Ah! Oh, <laughs> that's classic! You funny little fox. The news. After his scintillating debut last week on Special One TV, everyone's talking about Arsene Wenger. Wayne has this report. A stunning debut. A unanimous verdict. Are almost unanimous. We spoke to some people in the highest echelon who seem to express reservations about Arsene Wenger's first appearance on Special One TV. As usual, we protected their identity. So, you're saying you have doubts about Arsene? What I'm saying is that the underbelly is flaky. <laughs> People remarked about his confidence, his poise, his clarity. Jess, to me, everything he said was gobbledygook. Well, it's not like the old days anymore. They'll never replace Sven. David, I told you, stay inside the pixelation. But look at the league. He's in poor position. In poor position? Oh, skidding off the track. <laughs> Where's he going? One man had no problems revealing his identity. Well, uh, get that pixelation away from me. Hello. Uh, two groups of people will be unhappy with this signing. People who love Sven and people who love Special One TV. Well, wait and see. In other news, this year's spring-summer football fashion collection has hit the catwalks. This report from Mick McCarthy. Are you watching Gucci and Manolo Blahnik? This is what I call haute couture. Here we have Wayne, the epitome of sport casual, in an effortless cardi cum hoodie. Training, clubbing, home or away, you can't beat this number. Next up we have Jose, the classic look for the man who knows where he's going. A look that's set to take Europe by storm again this season. Flipping great result against Leon. Here we see Puppet Ronnie. Well, this season's must have accessory. The snooze. And here we have the Coupe de Grass. Perfect for patrolling up and down sidelines. And works beautifully in press conferences. Particularly when rambling on about arrogant dictatorships in UEFA and the like. The quilted jobby is this season's must have fashion item. And here it is, just in. Champions League quarterfinals. Live reaction. Do it. Well... Look at that! Harry, you and me. Who would have thought? Well, at this stage, you're just gonna have to beat the best, aren't you? Mr. Alex, your immediate reaction? Happy with that? Yeah. Uh, happy days. Very nice. My mouth is watering. Be champions. <laughs>